It's the first episode of the Tall TV 2023 October Horror Fest. Can you tell what we're watching tonight? This year we're watching classics that I myself grew up on. Films that I love, that I've watched over and over again. We're kicking it off special. Tonight we're watching A Nightmare on Elm Street, everybody. You know, your father and I don't need you to toss and turn all night like you did last night. One of my favorite films. No introduction needed. No description needed, really. You know, fucking kids having nightmares, and the nightmares come true, and it turns out that uh, the parents killed a guy long ago. Fred Krueger. Do you know who that is, mother? Do you know who that is, mother? My very first memory of Nightmare on Elm Street is doing homework at the kitchen table and my older sister had Nightmare on Elm Street playing in the background before my mom would let me watch horror movies and I would sneak peeks over my shoulder and I see Freddy Krueger say watch this and he slices his own fingers off watch this Much later, I learned that Wes Craven's intention was, you know, if this guy can slice his own fingers off, then what good are you going to do to defend yourself? And so, recently, we went to TerraCon in Massachusetts, and we met Robert England, and he signed my DVD. I had him write, watch this. And Heather Langenkamp signed it up here. It's basically all the Nightmare on Elm Street films, including Wes Craven's New Nightmare and Freddy vs. Jason. I'm just gonna tell you, it's a killer film about people who just, you know, I don't believe you because you just had a nightmare. Well, maybe the nightmare was true. Who knows? Who fucking knows? I'll tell you what, folks. I don't know. I fucking, I just slashed your girlfriend. I just slashed your girlfriend in half. And you fucking, do you know? Do you know that you did it or you didn't do it? My best friend hung himself in his jail cell. Oh, this is fucking Freddy Krueger. It's just Freddy killed him. No big deal. People die, and they say, well, this is dream. Is this is fucking Freddy dream killer. This guy wears a knife and kills everybody. I mean, what are you going to do? In your dreams, you can't really do much of anything, right? He appears out of nowhere where somebody thinks he's not going to appear, but is that, is that nightmarish proportions? See, this episode is more about showing off my props than actually creating content. Because I could create content by speaking and telling you what's on my mind. But I would rather just say, hey, check it out, check it out. I got a hat and, uh, you know, the, the flashy glove. I'll make a salad for you before I cut up an onion. But it won't be scary and it's told to be scary fast. Don't give a fuck. If Motorhead had an album called Copper Fist, this would be it. Don't give a shit. Don't care. Everybody listen. It's a great movie. You should check it out. If you haven't, I love it when I'm in movie groups and people are like, is this worth watching? And I say, you know, if you want your own opinion, anything's worth watching. You decide if it's worth watching. Watch it. Because is this worth watching is a fucking stupid question. So that's it for tonight, everybody. Tonight's October Horror Fest. Number one, in the bag. It's the climax of the film. We're done watching. Once the uh, lead character dies, you can say, I'm done watching. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating. Thank you for dreaming. Thank you for having steadfast opinions on Nightmare on Elm Street. So say goodnight, everybody. Say goodnight. Say I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. We'll talk to you next week. Next week we'll know better, and we'll gonna fucking have it for ya. We'll have some more horror for ya. Don't go to bed tonight. Thank you, fucking good night, good night. Say good night. Say good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being witches. Thank you for horror. Thank you for horror fest.